yeah we're so nearly at christmas well i say so nearly we are halfway to christmas i'm really excited <laughs> when you were a child did you not just think that the days before christmas just went so slowly i did i used to think the days went so slowly and every day i'd be like oh oh still not christmas but i think as we get older i'm kind of like oh my god it's the 12th already and I was going to do this and I was going to do that and a sign of getting older um so it's Friday which is terribly exciting that it's nearly the weekend but I've got a poorly bear he's not very well last night his cold properly broke and this morning he woke up with a sore throat and he was all snotty and sneezing and a hacking cough so he's really very, very poorly. Um, so I will be administering TLC. I'm going to be putting the kettle on in the moment and taking him a cup of tea. So I don't know what I'm going to do today. I'm probably going to try and soak the fruit for Christmas pudding later. But other than that, I really don't know what I'm going to be doing today. Looking after John. And that's probably about it. I don't know. The house needs a bit of a tidy or the kitchen needs a bit of a tidy. But I'll probably do that later because I can't be bothered right now. Um, but yes, I have no idea what the day is going to hold today. But I shall keep you updated. Well, I've still got a snotty, grotty mist up, so I'm going to make soup for lunch because what better way to cheer you up and warm the cockles than soup? So I'm going to make some leek and potato soup. To make my super, super soup, get it, super soup, roughly chop one or two leeks and fry them off in a little bit of olive oil or butter if you prefer. While that's gently softening, take out a couple of potatoes. I, for this recipe, think I used three. So take three potatoes and chop them quite small. You don't need to peel them, just chop them. And then add them to the pan with your leeks. Add a pinch of chilli flakes and a sprinkling of dried thyme or fresh thyme if you have it. I didn't measure it, I just probably used one or two teaspoons, probably near a one. Just sprinkle that in and then top up the pan with hot water and leave to boil so the potatoes soften. Once the potatoes are softened, you want to use a slotted spoon to remove your potatoes and put them into your food processor or food blender just the potatoes and the and the and the leeks basically all the solids use your slatted spoon for that and then put in a bit of milk or cream i used almond milk you may want to use um whatever milk you have add some milk and blitz it up when you blitz it the potato will thicken it so it'll become quite paste like but don't worry just keep blitzing it till it's smooth um then so I probably added about, I don't know, maybe 500 mils of milk. I never measure. I just kind of wing it and go by eye and go by taste. Then, so it's going to start to get to a thick paste. So once it's paste-like, you want to use a ladle and just ladle in maybe one or two ladles full of the cooking liquid and then give it another blitz. Depending on how thick you want your soup, the more liquid you add, the thinner it will become. We like ours quite thick, um, but I always add the liquid in last because if you add all the liquid together, it sometimes can be too liquidy, and if you want it thicker, that doesn't work. So once it's blitzed, then just pour into a bowl and serve with some yummy bread or rolls. Because I'm in the kitchen, the little piglets think that that's time for them to have some din-dins, and so they keep whooping at me, it's in stereo. <laughs> it's not time. No. It's not time, is it? 
Yo, oh, their collection of toys are growing. They're toys that I found in one of my boxes. I can't put anything on the floor like that for the rabbits because they stand on their head and wee on them. Because <laughs> they're rude like that. Look at that little face. How cute is this little face? Hello, little face. Hello, little face. Yes. Uh, whoop, derp. Whoop, derp. Whoop, 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 whoop. You're all cheeky. You're not getting any food. <laughs> I'd love just listening to them whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> I do, I just love just listening to them, their little noises. <laughs> I'm going to get told off in a minute because they're not giving them anything. What's up, Betty Bobs? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to leave them alone because they're going to get stressed because I'm not giving them anything to eat. Would you like a little piece of basil? Would you like a basil leaf just to appease you? Can I interest you in that? Oh, it's someone there, little one. Do you want it? <laughs> so, the abuse I get. Well, um, John's well and truly feeling crappy, crappy, crappy now. So, he's just gonna be sleeping. I don't know. <laughs> he just feels really naff. He's done some work from home today. But, um... Oh, I've got to speak of my... He's done some work from home today, but he's just feeling absolutely rubbish now. So he's on the sofa, going to watch a film. So I'm going to watch, now I'm going to watch a film with him. I've just put some jacky potatoes, some, well I haven't put jacky potatoes in the oven. I've put potatoes in the oven to jack it. Because um, he feels like some sort of comfort food, which is fine, you do when you're poorly. We've still got more of the crumble, so I should probably, we'll probably have that crumble with a jack of potato. I may throw something green on the plate, like broccoli as well. Um, yeah, I'm starting to feel a bit tired, and I'm just hoping that I don't come down with it too, because that would just be not happy bunny time. Um, but anyway, we're going to snuggle, going to do some popcorn. Going to put some popcorn on, some sweet popcorn in the microwave. We're going to watch a Christmas movie, so just going to pick one. I think I'll pick a couple and take them in for John to choose because I probably like more of the Christmas films than he does. So on my, cho on my choice would be that one, because I love that. Um, let me see. It's got to be done, hasn't it? It's got to be done at some point. Um, what else? What else? What else? I like all Christmas films, really, to be honest. Maybe I'll take in the three, because I could carry on choosing. So maybe I'll just take those three in to choose. I watched that one the other day whilst doing some work on the computer. Um... I love Christmas with the Cranks. I usually watch Christmas with the Cranks whilst um, doing my Christmas wrapping. Don't ask me why, oh, you just, it's just the way it is. I love Prancer. I used to love that when I was a child as well. Don't like Prancer too though. Um, yeah. I did get rid of some Christmas films. Is that all we've got? Yeah. Oh no. Also got a couple down here as well, but that will do for now.
had that was a nice film haven't watched that since last Christmas so that was really nice um yeah he's still poorly poorly man so we w did have some things planned for this weekend um but I don't know what's happening now whether we're going to do it whether we're not but rest assured I will let you know so we're probably going to just flop on the sofa and watch more films tonight that's the plan so we'll see you tomorrow night guys bye